Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Rolka. If you have jaw tension, you are not alone. Many of us can get a lot of tension collecting in our jaws. It can mean that we are not as flexible in the positions of our jaws and tongue and other soft tissues in the oral cavity. This can rob you of tone. It can rob you of accurate intonation and just make life unpleasant if you're trying to sing your best. And I'm going to show you some practices to work on that jaw release. Before I do, thank you if you've chosen to subscribe. If you haven't yet, I hope you'll do so now. If you want MP3s and my little guide sheets, which generally speaking with the warm-up videos has like the notes and stuff like that for example exercises, head on over to Patreon. You can sign right up. First and foremost, this is a process. I was very specific about that in my introduction here. This is a process and it is going to take a bit of practice, particularly depending on how much jaw tension you have. If you have a lot of jaw tension, it may require a little bit of time. Generally speaking, six to eight weeks of regular practice with these exercises and you will start to see results. Now the good news here is that you can incorporate a small amount of these practices into your normal warm-ups. You don't have to do some special extra additional sort of set of warm-ups in order to incorporate these practices. You can just do your regular warm-up with a few little add-ons that I'm going to show you and demonstrate for you here. And we're going to go through a few examples as well here in the video. Now we are working on release. When you are working on release, so now I know I just said you can incorporate this into your regular warm-ups. While you're doing those little specific things on the release, focus on the release. Generally speaking, you're going to put these kinds of add-ons into your warm-ups at the very beginning when you are in the most modest areas of your range. First and foremost is not so much an exercise, but is a little bit of a, a kindness to oneself, you might say. Just begin with a little, a little, little gentle self-massage, the TMJ joint. This is in part because it feels nice, but also to draw our awareness to this. We want to focus on this aspect of our phonation, of our singing. So we're going to remind ourselves physically of what we are exploring here. Next, take those same hands and again too, this is as much for awareness as it is for getting a little bit of blood flowing to the area, is give yourself a little tooth root massage. So just gently through the skin of your face, give yourself a nice, just a gentle little, little wake up call to the toothy pegs. Just a little wake up call. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too aggressive. Nice little wake up call to the tissues there around the teeth into the aural cavity and of course the TMJ joint, the sort of prime aspect of what we're looking at here in releasing this engagement that we might be carrying. Now, the gentle warm-ups on my channel are probably particularly good for this, especially those exercises where you have a lot of sustained pitches. So generally I have a chordal exercise in a lot of these, it sounds like this. And we are going to take an opportunity now to gently but firmly press a finger or two between our molars. So we want to get enough space in the, between the molars where we can just get the skin of our cheeks in between them. This is going to help us establish and maintain what in vocal pedagogy is called a hung jaw. It is a jaw that is neither too closed nor too open. But here's the key. You can monitor with your fingers through there, or you can use a mirror as well. In either case, we're going to sing our exercise with our fingers 
between our molars and we are monitoring whether the jaw is moving. So when we go back to our exercises in the video, for example, or on your piano or something, yes, the vowels may sound a little bit funny because this isn't entirely a released position for the jaw. We are going to cultivate release. That means doing something different than we may have done in the past. If you are clenching your jaw, if you are moving it without conscious volition, in other words, it's popping open on some vowels and clamping down on others, we want to be able to sing our vowels without moving the jaw. And so we are stabilizing it into this hung position by using our fingers between our cheeks. So what you can do, and I'm going to play this here, an octave apart. So lower voices, higher voices, let's just try a few. One, two, ready, and... And remember, you're just staying on that tonic. practice, you will be able to allow it to be released into that position. So it's going to start off, it may start off where you're really feeling tense there. Practice and you will find that over time it will start to release into that position. When you start to feel that the muscle tension is disengaging, that you're more comfortable, you can transition to just keeping your hands lightly placed with the jaw in that hung position. Here, we're doing the same kinds of exercises where we have the sustained vowel syllables. We're sustaining a single pitch, but now we're just using our fingers to lightly monitor. This offers less resistance, and if we have habitual responses of opening our or closing our jaw with a given vowel, you'll start to see them crop up. They may happen, but through monitoring that increased awareness and you can always go back to putting the fingers through the cheeks, you can continue your practice in releasing the jaw muscles so that they are in that hung position. So just for practice and seeing how we do. With our hands on our cheeks the jaw in the hung position. Let's sing a few exercises. Again, we stay on the tonic. Lower voices, higher voices. One, two, ready, and... is becoming easy, you can move on to the third exercise, the third practice. This one requires motion. Again, you can monitor with your hands lightly on your cheeks so that you can feel what your jaw is doing. You can also use a mirror. Here, we're singing a five note scale on one vowel, ascending and descending. Again, staying in a comfortable range. The gentle warm-ups are really quite ideal for these kinds of practices. And what we want to do is we want to have constant motion of the jaw. We're going to start with a narrower than hung position at the bottom. 
opening the aperture to a slightly larger than hung position at the top and then coming back to that slightly less than hung position aperture at the bottom. We're monitoring with our hands on our cheeks. E and the breath comes in through the open mouth. No motion there. We keep the jaw still. Initially, it can feel like you're really holding the jaw in place to prevent it from opening or closing while you take the breath. In time, with practice, it will remain in that neutral but open position without having to feel like you're forcing it to stay there. Nice and easy, we want nice gentle motion. E higher voices. One, two, ready, and. I want to emphasize one more time this is a process that it can take some time to make the neutral released position of your jaw a habit it won't be until it is a habit that it is going to be fully released if you're finding yourself having to correct it again and again and again it's just that it's not a habit yet and a little bit of these practices every day with your practice regimen will help to establish that habit as you continue moving forward with your voice. I do hope this helps. My name's Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.